In this Abacus video tutorial, I'll show you how you can customize your menu. To start, I'll tap the spoon and fork icon at the top of the screen, and then tap the cog icon to the left of my burger menu. You can see that the burger tab is selected by default. We can change the name of this tab by selecting tab name on the left. Here I've changed the tab name to burger. I can also change the colour of the tab by selecting one of the colours here. To save this tab, just tap the blue save button. To make changes in another tab, just select it. Here I'll change the sides tab to be yellow. Now I'll tap save. You can also reorder your tabs by holding your finger down on them until they pop out and then moving them to the desired location. The same can be done with your products on the right. For example, I'll hold down chips and then move it over here. You can see that garlic bread and chips have switched places. I'll now move the chips back to its original position. To add a new product to a tab, just select the tab and then tap on an empty square inside the tab. Now that you've tapped an empty square, you can type in the product name. For my example, I'll enter Pitta and then drop down the keyboard. I'll leave the product code blank as it'll be automatically generated for me. For the price, I'll enter $10. This item will have GST, so I'll leave taxable enabled. I'll also want this item to print out to the kitchen so I'll select Kitchen from the Printer Location list. For the product category, I'll select Sides. Once I've selected the category, I'll tap the X on the top right. Now I can choose a colour for this product. I'll make it green, and then tap Update. You can see here that I've now added a new product to my menu called Pitta, which is priced at $10. Now I'll show you how to change the price of an existing item on your menu. For my example, I'll select the garlic bread and you can see that the price is $5. Here I'll change the price to 6, drop down the keyboard and then tap update. Now just tap save menu and your menu will be updated with the new pricing. First I'll tap the spoon and fork icon at the top of the screen and then tap the cog icon to the left of my burger menu. Next, I'll show you how to add a new tab to your menu. Just tap the plus icon, and then select Add Group at the top of the screen, and then enter in the group name. For my example, I'll enter Sweets as my group name, then drop down the keyboard, and tap Update. Now you can see that I've added a Sweets tab to my menu, and I can add products to that tab in here. Now I'll show you how to add an image to one of your products. For my example, I'll select Pitta. I'll scroll down to the Add Image section, and then tap the plus icon here. Now I can either take a photo of the product with the front camera on the iPad, the rear camera on the iPad, or select a photo from my library. Once you've added the image for your product, just tap Update. Next, I'll show you how you can add another row to your product tab. To create another row, just tap the plus icon here and you'll see another row is generated. Now you can continue to add products to this tab. For now, I'll tap the cancel icon. Next, I'll show you how to delete a product from one of the tabs. In the burger tab, I'll select the double egg burger and then tap delete. I'll confirm the deletion by tapping Confirm. You can see now that the double egg burger is deleted. When you delete a product from your POS menu, the product won't be deleted permanently. You can add the product back to your menu at any time. Now I'll add the double egg burger back to the menu. If the product currently exists in the database, when you enter the product name, it will appear here. Here you can see that all the details for the double egg burger have been pre-filled as it currently exists in the database. 
To confirm that I want to put the double egg burger back on the menu, I'll just tap update and then tap save menu. Now you'll see that the double egg burger is available on the menu again. Now I'll show you how to create groups within a tab. To do this, I'll tap the spoon and fork icon at the top of the screen and then tap the cog icon to the left of my burger menu again. In my drinks tab, you can see I have an example already where I've created a group called soft drinks and then when I select it, the drinks are inside. I'll create another group inside drinks called juice. To do this, I'll select the drinks tab and then tap on an empty square and then tap add group at the top of the screen. For the group name, I'll enter juice, drop down the keyboard and then tap update and save menu. Now I'll go back into the drinks tab to see the change I've made. You can see that I have my soft drinks tab and I also have my juice tab which doesn't have any products in it at the moment. Now I'll demonstrate how to remove a group from one of your tabs on the menu. First I'll tap the spoon and fork icon at the top of the screen and then tap the cog icon to the left of my burger menu. Next I'll select my drinks tab and you can see the two groups that I have here. In order to remove the juice group, I'll tap the small cog icon here and then tap delete at the bottom of the screen. Now I'll tap confirm. You can see that the juice group has been removed. Now I'll save the menu. Lastly, I'll show you how you can rename one of your menus. Just tap the spoon and fork icon and tap the small pencil icon to the right of one of your menus. Once you've tapped the pencil icon, just edit the name here. Once you've changed the menu name, just tap done. Now if we go back up to the spoon and fork icon, you can see that the menu has been renamed. 